Hello viewers, welcome back to Crazy Rose Studio. Today we will be looking at the topic BMR or bare metal re restore of a Windows machine. So you can call it bare metal restore or recovery. Totally up to you. So let me start this video first with um, apologizing about the network commands app for iOS. I'm still having issues with my Apple developer account. Uh, the profile is not getting created on the app. Uh, Xcode and I'm um, having all sort of trouble so please bear with me uh, I will get this sorted out and I will have the app published on Apple Store so you can follow me on Twitter to uh, you know get the latest information regarding this in this version of the video we will be looking at the demo for a successful BMR as well as uh, how to troubleshoot by doing uh, by showing you a failed BMR as well so before you do uh, go ahead with the BMR recovery, first check if you have all the appropriate save sets that you require. All right, so let's go ahead and run the mminfo command for SQL1, which is our client. I just have one backup, so I'm just running this as is. So this is the backup with that we are trying to restore. It is a full backup, and uh, if you have, if you remember the save set list that. Uh, are part of BMR or disaster underscore recovery it was a critical disk in our case the critical disk is just C if you remember uh, from the command that we ran earlier it is the Windows roles and features which is system state itself uh, the system state partition and is disaster underscore recovery itself so this is what we need for restore and this is what we have and everything is in a browsable state this needs to be in a browsable state. If in case your disaster underscore recovery is not in a browsable state, then it will not show up in our available list of backups when we do uh, when we are doing the BMR. Get a new VM. Uh, let's say create and register a new VM. So new, I'll call it uh, my original server is equal one. So let's call it restored. This is all optional. You can do this if you want. You can skip it otherwise. Uh, so data store is this. So I have just 37 gigs. Let me see if I'm able to complete the config. Uh, this is going to be thin provisioned. Okay, it's giving me that error, but uh, let's see how that behaves. Then I have a da, 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 network. Uh, it's not a public one. I need it in VM network. So the type is again E1000E. Uh, so the disk image here, I have to change this to. So I have the network bootable disk on my data store, which is this one. So this is the bootable disk that I have. I'm going to select that and then say next summary here one cpu 4 gb memory one ethernet hard disk 40 gb and i have the iso connected to it click on finish okay now that we have the iso mounted and uh, everything is in place let's go ahead and boot this um, vm so we are in that sql one restored quick note here uh, there is a link on your screen right now, which is for a support article on uh, the Dell support site. So according to the article, the current BMR has a bug in it, which I struggled a lot during this demo. Uh, I tried to fix it. So I come, came across this article as I, and I was able to fix it. So the fix is very simple. You'll have to uh, change the date on your system BIOS to any date prior to January 1, 2021. So this is some kind of bug related to the date itself. So I did that and now let's go ahead and boot the system up again. I hope it does not reset back to the uh, original date. So this is the networker uh, Windows image. Okay, it's initiating. First it will set up the DNS and uh, stuff because it is going to try and pick up the, okay. 
So let's go ahead and change the date now. So the current date of recording 27, 2021. So I'll change this to my time zone in India. So it's 5.30 Chennai. Let's click on next. So the next is for your uh, NIC selection, the network interface selection. So as you can see, uh, we had selected E1KE, which is E1000E. Uh, so try and select this particular NIC card, no, no matter what your original NIC was in uh, production, because the ISO that we have, it has only limited uh, drivers in it. So if in case you want this to be very smooth, it is best to use a driver, which is already, uh, it is best to use a hardware, which already has a driver in the image itself. Otherwise you have to go through the process of adding that driver to the image and then using this image for your uh, production restore. So I have just one NIC and that is detected. So that's good. Let's go ahead and give next. The name of our system is SQL1. Domain is crazyrobe.com. IP address is going to be 192.168.31.21. This is 255.255. Oops, two zero and my gateway is one sixty eight thirty one and one. I have a DNS with the IP twenty. So that should be good enough. Let's go ahead and click next. So this is going to configure the host name and the uh, network. It might take a few seconds, so let's just wait for it to complete. So whenever uh, any process takes a bit longer do not panic wait for the process to complete all right in the next screen we are going to select our networker server our networker server is nsr linux so let's let's put the computer fqd in as well and then we say next so you, here you'll see that uh, I just have one backup. So depending on how many backups you have, you'll have that option of selecting any uh, of the backup for a point in time restore. So you can click on the uh, respective date and time to select that backup. For me, it's just one, so I'm just selected that. And then let's click on next. Here it is giving me information of the save sets that will be restored. And if you can see the size is just 16 gigs and your disk is supposed to be a little more than 16 gig for this restore to complete. But as you saw uh, during the configuration, we have 40 gigs as, uh, assigned to this. So well and good. Uh, always keep this perform a quick format. So if you uncheck this, it might take a longer time because I think it is uh, it'll try to do a normal format of the disk. So let's go ahead and click next. So next it is going to give me a summary of what exactly it's trying to do. So here you can see that uh, uh, this is the summary. It is trying to format uh, before the restore C and the system partition. Then it is also telling me what was the hardware, the uh, the source hardware type, the, the destination hardware type. Uh, here you have an option to back up the BMR log file. So if a restore does fail and if you have this option checked, then what the networker does is that it just takes a backup of these um, BMR log files, which you can restore and you know check. You also have an option to check these files on your uh, system before, if in case anything fails. So I'm going to show that, but uh, first let's just concentrate on see how a you know successful BMR looks like. Then I'll show you how a, you know a botched or a failed. BMR looks like so let's go ahead and click on restore now so it is telling me that I can go ahead and format the disks I say okay so first it is going to do the OSSR metadata this is basically a file which is rest uh, which is backed up as part of disaster disk recovery this contains information regarding your um, partition so it is going to restore this read it and then it is going to do the partition and formatting so now you can see that it has created the uh, format uh, created the partitions and now it has started the critical disk restore let's just hop on to our nmc and see how that looks like so it is still not initiated yeah so if you see reading done so this was for the initial uh, uh, read of the disaster underscore recovery saves it. So if you can see here down in the logs, 
uh, wait for a couple of minutes so you can see that it has already started doing the restore so you can see that it has started reading so let me pause this video on, uh, until the restore completes it might take a few minutes so let me pause this video here and come back when the restore is completed so the restore is almost coming to an end as you can see it has completed 95 percent 99 percent okay so the system uh, the c drive is done it is just restoring the system state and as you can see the summary status here you can uh, it says that it has recovered the c drive uh, the system uh, partition and uh, now i can go ahead and reboot the system for it to boot into the windows machine so in certain situations there might be issues with your system booting up where, wherein your um, restore is completed everything is done dusted uh, perfectly no issues but still if your system does not come up it's not actually an issue with the restore itself it might be uh, one of multiple reasons one reason might be that the new uh, hardware or the new system that you are uh, restoring to that does not have the same hardware that was on the original system and thus it might be missing a few drivers on uh, the system the system administrator might have to go into recovery mode and fix these issues so if in case the restore is completed successfully but the uh, system is not booting up please do not waste your time by doing multiple restores again and again on the same hardware underlying hardware Try and uh, uh, talk to your system administrator and have them go ahead and you know boot it into have them boot it into a recovery mode and then try to fix the driver issue that uh, is the main underlying cause for such issues. But uh, yeah, so that is one of my suggestions to you on BMR specifically. So let's go ahead and uh, log into the system. So as you can see, it's an administrator same username password so as you can see it also has all the other applications so there are no many applications it's just the chrome that i had installed so that is already present so let me go ahead and bring up the command prompt so that we can check the host name so it's sql and ip configuration as you can see is the 192.168.31.21 and you can also see that it is already configured and uh, connected to the DNS and domain so this was simple and easy so if you are uh, happy with this you can go ahead and stop watching the video here but I'm going to continue and show you a scenario wherein a restore fails and how and where to you can find the logs pertaining to that failure so let's go ahead and shut this down so i'm going to make a few changes here to this uh, what i am going to do is let me go ahead and delete the hardware that i have here okay delete this from the data store as well and then save so that storage is gone let's now add another disk so this time what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a disk which is not able to cope with the data that we have so as you have seen the data that we have is around 17 gb so i'm going to give it only 10 gb and uh, then we will try to boot from that disk so i have let me go ahead and see if i have yeah the bmr there so let's go ahead and say yes let's now boot this disk or boot this particular vm i want to quickly check if my bios date is still prior to so this i have to make it 12 maybe 01 2020 and then save this say yes uh, I'm doing this because of the bug that I had mentioned earlier. So if in case it is uh, set to the current date, the Java applet crashes and it does not come up. So just to have our uh, 
uh, the network of wizard that helps us with the uh, restore to work we need to do this stuff so let's uh, wait for it to come up so there we have it let's go ahead and change the date now we are in 2021 and we are in plus 5:30 Calcutta time. So let's search for that. Yeah, Chennai, Kolkata, Mumbai, New Delhi. We click on next. Next, it's going to direct the NIC card. So this is what we want. Let's go ahead and select next. Give it the correct host name, which is SQL1 domain. And then give it the appropriate IP or the correct IP address 192 and my DNS IP is 20. Let's say next. So it is going to show you the available disks. So I have added just a 10 GB disk. So that is what it will show you now. All right. So in the next screen, you will see the disk. So if, as I told you, the disk is just 10 gigs. So let's go ahead and click on next. Uh, available server so my server name is NSR Linux and click next that's going to pick up the backups that it can read from the media database okay I just have one backup so that's selected all the things that we had done earlier all said and done look at the summary and let's say restore so this as i told you is going to fail and we are going to troubleshoot and see uh, how to check the logs to uh, figure out what might be the reason for the failure of uh, the restore so i'll oh, okay as you can see uh, the restore has failed and it is asking us to go and check the ossr director dot raw I click on OK and it's going to back up as I told you earlier uh, as I had checked the option to back up the logs to networker in case of failure that is what it uh, just did and we can click on this view logs okay and uh, the problem with this by default is that it is only showing you the dot log so some of you might confuse with this so just make sure that you are selecting all files okay so the one it wanted us to check was the ssr director dot raw so let's go ahead and see what that log tells us so it, it by default opens with a notepad which should be good enough for us and let's go ahead and see what caused the failure so it says successful uh, set successfully enabled all the creation so it cre it recovered the ossr metadata and when it did restore the ossr metadata and it was uh, creating the ossr partitions it saw that the disk that is set to active on the bios is too small to recover the original system so we have to replace the disk with a larger one and retry the uh, restore again so as i mentioned uh, this was one of the issues uh, wherein we had trouble with the restore so checking this log is going to help you to precisely understand what the issue might be so issue again might be that uh, the alias is taken something else and that is what might be causing the issue there might be a wrong or duplicate IP address so whatever the issue is that particular error will be logged in this file and whenever the restore fails please come and check that particular log file so again come here switch this to all files and check the OSSR director dot raw so sometimes uh, this might not tell you the entire story so you might have to check the recover.log and recover underscore metadata.log as well uh, so these three or four log files are the ones that you need to check whenever you have issues here so this is all i had for this video i hope uh, you will be able to do uh, or make and understand a better uh, bmr restore going forward Thanks for sticking with me till the end of this video. I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions or comments, share it with our community in the comment section below or you can drop me a message at my Twitter account. I will see you on another video. Goodbye.